Hi everyone, it's Front Row Phyllis and we are live at Millennium Park in Chicago at the second annual St. Jude Dream Chicago benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It is an evening filled with incredible activities from restaurant tastings from around the globe, live and silent auctions, and special performances by season 19 of American Idol, Grace Kitzler, and the R&B sensation, The Pointer Sisters. Everything St. Jude Children's Research Hospital does is centered around one mission, finding cures, saving children. Stay tuned for all the highlights. We are honored to have joining us the president and CEO of Alltech, the fundraising and awareness organization for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, Rick Shadiak, welcome and thank you for joining us. It's a privilege to be here. I'm so excited to be here. You know, for those that don't know, um, tell us about the history with St. Jude and how you became president and CEO of Alsec. What's really cool is to be back here in Chicago because the organization that I have the privilege of leading, Alsac, uh, which is the fundraising and awareness organization for St. Jude, was established right here in Chicago in 1957. So our roots come from here. The very first fundraising event ever held it's for St. Jude was held right here at the 5100 Club with Danny Thomas. Wow. So our roots are deep here. We have many, many board members, and now we've become the place that leads the way the world understands, treats, and defeats childhood cancer. You know, you knew Danny Thomas I for did. a long time. So what do you think that he would be saying about this year? I think he'd be blown away. To see 2,000 people in Millennium Park to know that we're gonna raise over $2 million, uh, to hear the whole stories about St. Jude Global and everything. But I know one other thing that he'd tell me. He'd say, Rick, our work is not done. Kids are still dying from cancer. One in five still die in the United States. It's a leading cause of death by disease in the US still today and around the globe in low and low and middle income countries, four and five still pass away. So we have to do better. So he'd tell me, get to work. Speaking of that, St. Jude is celebrating um, it's 60th anniversary, and that kicked off in February. I think it's a whole year or two year event at this point. It is. <laughs> and tell us about some of the celebrations and the fundraisers, and why are they so critical to the work of the hospital? Yeah, February 4, 1962 was when we opened our doors. It was in Memphis, Tennessee, which was a segregated city at the time. Danny Thomas placed it there intentionally to address healthcare disparities because from day one, we wanted to welcome kids from all races, creeds, religions, and without regard to economic circumstance. So it was really a bold and audacious plan. Uh, we're celebrating 60 years of finding cures and saving children's lives. We've been all across the United States. Uh, and here we are in Chicago, the birthplace of ALSAC, the fundraising and awareness organization. But these events, this event will allow us to stay true that no family will ever receive a bill from St. Jude, not for treatment, travel, housing, or food, because we just want our families to focus on helping their child survive. That's what's so special. And it's all because of the support of the public. St. Jude has raised the survival rate from really like 4% to over 94%. That's exactly and right. All of this without the families ever putting in a penny. So how is that possible? It's, po it's possible because of incredible donors all across the United yeah. States. We're blessed to have 13 million donors now to give you. Wow a sense of how the whole the whole United States has rallied around St. Jude. And it's events like this, it's people being partners in hope, it's people sending us $10 or $25 or 500, whatever anybody can do. Uh, and we just make sure that we're taking care of those families and conducting cutting edge research to try to find more cures for childhood cancer. Like I said earlier, we talked about this. Um, we are so excited to have you here at the biggest event in Chicago, St. Jude Dream Chicago. So how excited are you about tonight's event? I am super excited. We have Marlo Thomas here, the founder's daughter. So that's super cool. We've got several of our board members here, 2000 people. I go to a lot of events, folks, and this one is one of the biggest ones and we're gonna raise over $2 million. So it doesn't get any better than this. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Thank you again, Rick. We can't wait for tonight's performances and everything to start. I can't wait either. It's great uh, to see you good again. Good to see you again. Thank you. We have had an incredible night here at the second annual St. Jude Dream Chicago, but it can't stop here. Not until no child dies from cancer. 
please go to stjude.org to donate. Live from Millennium Park, it's Front Row Phyllis.